what is it? Pilicious is here. And frigging way to start alien isolation. Gonna start it up, and then I'll do a quick be right back. Starting up now, and I'll be right back. And I am back. Sorry about that. Okay. Start button. Aw. I want to see the intro cutscene. Okay, we can stay here for a few seconds so you can see the excitement type thing cutscene. Thank you for the auto host, C Delta D. Super duper appreciate it. I don't know what to expect with this game. I think it's open world-ish. It's got a lot of open worlds in the future. They visit your world. Trap. Turn it down. Maybe not. Deal this damage. In addition, you can't just fly on my charge at low level. 
to a low level. Anyway, can we set the usual penalty to do the standard damage to you? I guess that's the reason. Blooded. You need to tough in deadlier than ever. Anyway, you're beyond it. You intend to go to the following chart to go to the end of the game. Do you wish to save any game? I'm not sure if you're going to do that. I'm not sure if you're going to do that. Since I'm picking up my mic on my, uh... Huh. How about that? Also, Practice moving different seas. Stuff can be key to a successful hunt. Sixty one. Okay, why are you starting that mode? <laughs> why are you starting first person mode? When you hit these markers in game, they give you a hint. You can be viewed in the pause menu by pressing start. Any objectives received can also be viewed in the pause menu. Take jump. Press and hold it to in release form a higher jump. While hanging from a ledge, move the left thumbstick the left and right to shimmy. Move the left thumbstick up to pull up slowly and press A to flip quickly from the ledge. Move the thumbstick down and push B to drop away from the ledge. Close to your ledge, press Y to backflip into a hanging position. Ah, okay. Oh, 
I can wall jump. Strafe movement. Push and hold L to lock the direction you're facing, which allows you to strafe while moving. Jump while strafing that direction to tumble somersault. Somersault. It's very useful during combat. Interesting. Practicing off walls. Jump directly at a wall, then push right to perform your backflip. Ooh. Nifty. To tear open specific objects, grab them by grab them by pressing B and repeat and repeatedly press B as quickly as you can. This method can also be used to raise heavy Gates and barricades. <laughs> Nothing goes inside. Jump onto a fire escape to attach to it. Okay. Move the stick up or down and to climb. Move the stick up or jump to climb. Push B to climb down. Okay. At any time, move. At any time, move the stick down to immediately drop off. Or push right to backflip off. How to get up here? Still, there's a fire escape here. Oh, that's cool. Head over hand, hand over hand. Can hand over hand and enemy certain objects reach inaccessible areas attached to the vent overhead by jumping straight up from underneath it? Use the lumps, use the lump. The left thumbstick to move and push B or jump to drop off at any time. Ow. 
jump towards the wall at an angle and then jump again to, on making contact with the wall to perform a wall bounce. Attach your stone surfaces by jumping at them and then move around with the left thumbstick. And any time push B to jump, immediately or jump to immediately drop off and push right to backflip off. So you said training grounds, you take vision to locate these gecko surfaces. Okay, walk in some new kills. Okay, so we got movement down. Combat. It's always important to go through just tutorials. Selection. Push back to access your inventory. You can also quickly toggle your wrist blade pressing down without opening the inventory. Targeting, you can tell which enemy you will attack by targeting marker that appears around them. You automatically target enemies within your range of your weapons. If you have your plasma caster selected, the auto image shoots the nearest target. That is the safe distance away for you to attack. To attack a specific enemy, face them and hold hold, hold the L button or lock on to an enemy, you'll keep facing them when you move around. First person mode by pushing the black button. While in first person, you cannot move, but you can look around with the left thumbstick and lean around corners with the right thumbstick. Click the right thumbstick to zoom in and click the left thumbstick to zoom out. Okay. Person will to target enemies by using the left thumbstick to cycle through you by enemy. Predator, you should only prey on those who pose a threat to you. Killing defenses will bring great dishonor upon you. When locked into an enemy, your target marker will be red for an honorable kill and green for a dishonorable kill. Push speed from a lightning ride for a heavy melee with a sign weapon. You switch between these attacks at will and some combination of these depths in attack. Your 
hard, you'd be a dishonorable kill. Executions. Perform an execution by sneaking up behind and swicking prey or maneuvering behind enemies while in combat. Lock onto your target and then push B when this icon, the skull icon, appears above their head. Execute this bum in order to progress through your training. Oh, okay. Floored enemies. The mute attacks will knock enemies to the floor. You can attack an enemy on the ground by locking onto them and then pushing the BRY. You can also use your range weapon or jump on them to crush them underneath your feet. Kill the woman for pushing BRI jumping on him for the rest of your training. Jeez, I jumped far. Oh, okay then. Took a bit of a dip. I can't kill him. I mean, I can. Baby dishonorable. Spear gun. The spear gun has the longest range of all your weapons. It can be aimed with with precision in first person. It can take an enemy's head off in, with a single shot. Shoot a few bombs marked with a green marker with R. Now we proceed through your training. High cash may contain healing charges, traps, or mines, or spears. This one contains spears, for, and for training purposes, this has an infinite supply. Plasma caster. Plasma cast will auto aim the enemies in third person or can be manually aimed in first person. If you pull down and hold the R, it will charge up the plasma bolt to consume more energy for your power re from your power reserve. This powered by your enemy by your energy supply. It will home run on enemies when thrown with R. By locking onto an enemy in third person and moving the right thumbstick, you can target multiple enemies. It can also be thrown in first person the exact same way. Maximum number of targets increases as you obtain more advanced smart discs. 
Recharging. Push me when near a junction box to recharge your energy level. box I can't use it again. Big gun ammo full. Traps can be used in two ways. Going directly at enemy, they would trigger instantly. Alternatively, they can be laid on the ground and you detonate when enemy strays too close. Different types of traps will have different effects. They pick up weaknesses of each enemy. Pull hard to throw a trap. Outside of the training grounds, you have failed your mission. I did not. I just seen you as a person and I threw it at him. Flesh hanging throw. With the traps are like in well, flesh hanging. Pull hard that you select the trap. Barrier, which will be which allows you to practice the skills and abilities you have learned in the train section. We also want to try attacking your prey while I'm wondering what to grab them. But to grab them, there are a number of different grapple kills that perform them. them. Blue way point mark, blue way point Okay. Now, the question is will these bombs hurt me? Or these traps? Oh, I fell into water. <laughs> 